So we finally got that first touchdown monkey off your back. How'd, how'd it feel? It felt great. It felt like one in a lifetime. It's the first of many. Talk, talk about, the, talk about the, the, the play itself. It looks like you just ran a route that really able to separate yourself, did a little juke at the end. Uh, yeah, so my pre-snap read was realizing that they were like cover three. I mean cover three, a nice little cover three. So I realized that he had to take me vertical. So if it was like a skinny post. I knew that he had to bite hard on it. So as soon as I ran it and then I broke out, I knew that he was lost and he didn't, he didn't know where to go. And then I knew I had to score. I had to, I can't just get tackled out of bounds. So I was gonna like step back, but then he was already high, so I just stayed low mm -hmm. and then just dove in the end zone. So there's a read, there's a read component of Jaden that's part of that. Like it's you have the ability to adjust the route. Well, no, that was the design play. Okay. It was a design play, but it, it's just like. I'm supposed to run it harder, but I'm not going to run it hard and run it to the, the single high safety. It makes no sense. So you got to like kind of adjust around a little bit. How important is it getting into that sort of rhythm feel overall with Jaden? Because you guys came out early, five wide, you guys are kind of rolling down the field. It seemed like Zach was really trying to get that going with you guys. So like, you mean, just, like, just like, just how a, how valuable is it? It's a it's an everyday thing. It's like it's like it's like eating it's like eating breakfast every morning. You wake up, eat breakfast. It's, it's regular. In games, it's the same. It's the same. Right? It's just, he throws it like playing catch. That's how I see it. I don't really. It's yeah. not hard. I just see it like playing catch. So you think that you guys are capable of having a big passing performance every week? Yeah, I, that's how. That's what I believe. How long does it take to get comfortable with a quarterback? Because Herm was even saying yesterday, you, you guys, have, most of you guys have only had six games with Jaden. So, you know, how long does it take to really establish that rapport and that? For me or for like a typical receiver? I would say a typical receiving group as a unit. I feel like in college, people are like, it's not like high school, like y'all all know each other. It's like college, like everybody's from everywhere. So you got to like really like take time out of the day, like go like in office hours, like over like after practice, you know, and like really like let's just run some routes and like so you can see how I throw, so you see how I run routes and stuff like that. But for me, I've been with Jaden since like seventh grade, so it's really nothing. Through AAU or like seven, 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 yeah. Yes. I'm thinking basketball. <laughs> Herman mentioned that he was kind of still waiting for the passing game to really get going. He didn't feel like it necessarily got all the way there against UNLV. What do you think is the remaining component to really getting everything going through the air? Like we just gotta just keep doing what we're doing little by little we're progressing. The first game really we didn't really throw like that. Second game we threw a lot more. And BYU, I feel like we're gonna be throwing a lot. And if it doesn't work, we always gotta rush out and chip, so <laughs> Yeah, going up there to a hostile environment, a team that's looking to knock off its third straight from the Pac twelve. I mean, what's the message and what do you see out of this Cougars team? See, I'm just embracing all of it. Like as a freshman, as like having crowds and stuff, I, that I feed off the end, I feed off of the crowd. So they can boo me, do all that, all you want. It ain't gonna do nothing but motivate me. So that's what I'm looking forward to. That's the that's one mistake they shouldn't have. It's a crowd. Do you see any other threats when you look at their defense, their secondary at all? I, I don't threat no defense in college football because at the end of the day, you gotta you gotta beat. Only only defense I see that's a threat is the one that, that is the ASU defense. That's the only one. Other than that, you're just a human. You believe like me. Is there anything in particular about BYU's defense that stands out to you in film and just that you've noticed so far? They're old. Very old. They're mature. They're probably they're very like they're not gonna make too much mistakes, so you just just beat them straight up and I feel like I can do that. Jaden's uh, ability to extend plays. Is oh, that's that plays a big part of it too. Cause if like, say say BYU runs like a great defense that covers our offense, and he could just run and like and do what he do. That's what he do best. Ever since he was in high school. Yeah. So it's it's natural for him. How much you guys work on scramble drill stuff or post route stuff? Uh, it's like we don't really like. Oh, we're gonna do like a drill. Like no, nah, it's like common sense. Like in practice. If he scrambles, cause our defense. If he scrambles, we we adjust. It's just common sense. Like not nothing too big. Just being on the same page. As long as we're on the same page. As, the same page, as long as we got to get to the spot. So if he rolls out this way, we need levels. So that's it.